friends. I am so excited for you to join me on this Energize module. It's Dr. Gold. We're here to do the first part. It's called Elevate. So the important part of recognizing this is releasing and lengthening the spine. So Elevate not only lengthens the body, but also the spirits and the mindset. So as we're doing it, we're gonna lengthen up, 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 up. Now, if you're able to stand, please do, because we know the more we strengthen and work our legs, if you're not able to stand, at least try to extend or move your legs if possible. But lengthen the spine if you can, and then roll the shoulders back. Try to do what you can for your body. Notice my eyes are closed intentionally. I'm visualizing energy. Put that in. And we know there's different vibrational energies with color. If you notice in my hair is purple or violet that's one of the highest frequencies for energy think of lavender if you go there it seems so calming we did that uh, painted our bathroom lavender and it's just a beautiful peaceful uh, place a sanctuary for me when i go in there i'm like oh but colors do have vibrational energies think of what colors resonate for you i also love blues as well so lengthen in that spine, reach, 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 the top of the head towards the sky. And what studies show is as you elevate the body and mind, you can actually breathe better, more energy. We're also working the core muscles, strengthening our spine, reducing the risk for falls. Because if you're hunched and something is a little slippery on the floor, you're already bending over, it's a lot easy, more easily or easier to tip over, which we don't want to do. So we're going to bring in that light, bring in that energy bring in the joy. So let's take a nice deep breath in, reach, reach, reach. Exhale out. Do that again, deep breath in. And exhale out. Reach up, stretch, stretch, stretch out the body. Now again, if things don't feel good, you can't raise your arms, that's okay, just go halfway. Or maybe just lengthen the arms or the torso. You don't have to do the upper arms if that doesn't feel good. But if you're able to reach up and over, modify any of these poses as you need to. And then reach in front and exhale out. Let's do this a few times. And we're gonna engage the breathing. So I'm wearing this half shirt intentionally so you can see my belly. And I want you to think of the belly as a balloon. And what we're gonna do is blow up the balloon with the inhale so it inflates that belly. Inhale, big smile here. And then exhale, empty the belly. And the belly goes inward. If it doesn't happen, laughter does it automatically. So a ha ha ha, <laughs> that's the exhale. That engages those abs, free core muscles. I love it, love it. Free, fun, little crunchy workout that's fun. So I'm getting an ab workout and enjoying myself. <laughs> so inhale up and exhale out. Let's do this three more times. Inhale with peace and love and exhale. Letting go of stress, worries, anything that doesn't serve us. We know life can be hard and it can be very challenging to try to do everything. We can't do everything. But the simple posture of just looking up, gazing upward in a neutral spine, so our, our ears are lengthening away from those shoulders, can bring in joy, can bring in peace. So let's do this a few more times. Inhale and exhale. Good, and nice little giggle here. <laughs> Again, to bring in joy, bring in spirit, bring in laughter. The more we can do that, we can lower our cortisol levels. Again, that frees us up because we know when we're worried, when we're angry, frustrated, stressed, that zaps our energy. It uses up so much energy, it's wasteful. Don't wanna do that. And again, I know you have every right to feel the way you do and have the emotions, but what we're doing is retraining the brain. You can always teach yourself new tools is what I'm providing. So you can put that in your repertoire so you can feel better, so you can have more energy and realize doing the same thing that you always do is gonna, not going to get you to a new result. We got to do things that are new outside our comfort zone sometimes because then we'll get to new places and then we can feel better. So health, the principles are simple, not always easy, but you can do this by just smiling, by just breathing more mindfully, consciously, intentionally. Letting go of the past, which we cannot change. Letting go of the future, which we can't control. We can influence, but we can't control. Just being fully present here. So if there's stuff that you had to go through, lots of hardships and other stuff, again, I'm not placating them. I'm just giving you permission to let them go and use this as a practice to let go of that stuff. Be present in this moment. 
free yourself, free your mind, so you can take in good energy. And the more you can focus on stuff that uplifts you, you can focus up, that's how you can start to feel. And think of people who are celebrating. What do they normally do if somebody's celebrating a win or a success or something just wonderful happened in their life? What are they doing? You got it. Woo! Jumping up and down, screaming, yelling, just making noise. Just look at a win from the NFL and the team. Look at the winning team, what they're doing right after that and all the fans for that team, what they're doing, right? So just think of yourself winning right now. And this is one of those steps to get you to the best you because you deserve it. You are fantastic, 100% perfectly made, a beautiful light in this world. So let's practice this breath again, deep breath in, nice long spine here. See if you can stack the vertebrae so the, the ears are in line with your shoulders, shoulders in line with your hips, hips in line with your knees, knees in line with your ankles. So lengthen up. And if you're ever not sure, go against the wall. So if you go against the wall and the major parts, the back of your head, the shoulders, the hips, the heels are touching, that's a good sign. If they're not touching, that's okay. Work on getting more parts of your body to open up and create space. And you can, even with surgeries, you can start to create space where the muscles have not been like kind of honed down if you've had a fusion or something. But there's accessory muscles. There's other places your body can go to create more space and you giving it more air, more breathing room, so much better. Because honestly, when I ask patients to take a deep breath, they use this. And this is a shallow breath. You do not want to go there. Why? Because it sends a signal to the brain that you're in panic mode. It's hyperventilation. What I want you to do is pure good ventilation where we're breathing from that belly or diaphragmatic or belly breath. So move that belly as you breathe, move the abdomen and more breathing connects to the brain that you're calmer, more relaxed, again, more air, more oxygen, and you feel better, more energy. Yay. So I'll do this three more times. Inhale, allow that belly to rise, inflate the belly, exhale, empty. Again, inhale with a smile, looking up, and then slowly exhale. Notice my shoulders are not moving through this breath. Just my belly, a little bit of my chest, but not my shoulders. Try to keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Shoulder blades are reaching towards one another, spine uplifted. Zip up the body. Yeah, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through the breath. Do not contract. So we're not doing this. <sighs> Notice how I'm hunching, don't hunch. Whole time, uplift. So inhale, expand that belly, get it bigger, and then exhale like a belly dancer. <laughs> Again, deep breath and then exhale or just laugh. <laughs> That's the easiest way to do it. So again, hope you um, got some good input about Elevate. It's elevating the spine, bringing more breath into the body so you can feel better, so you can energize and have more energy to do the things that you love to do. Again, it's Dr. Golds with Dr. Golds Optimal Living Institute. Thank you for joining me on the Energize module. Remember your health matters. Toodles. Mwah! <laughs>